Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Let's do an important video here today, following, on, uh, following up on the previous video where I used lag as an example. So let's talk about lag today. Um, I, I've been getting comments saying, oh, uh, you want down hinge? It's, I, I'm trying it, it goes well. Can I, do, can I do the down hinge and hold the lag at the same time? It just doesn't work like that. I, I, I briefly mentioned it in the video you guys might have seen yesterday. So let's talk about lag again, okay? Why I talk about down hinging is because I really don't like people holding the lag in the traditional sense. Holding the lag, holding your wrist angles, and you can see the more I hold my wrist angles, the steeper I am. Most players don't want to be steep. Most players want to get decent contact. Most players can benefit from having the club shallow. Holding your lag is not a shallowing piece. Holding your lag is a steepening piece, usually leads to cupped lead rest, your, your open face, your steep, bad things happen. It's impossible where a golf swing being such a high speed movement, taking very little time to produce, you're not being able to hold, 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 and then release. Doesn't work like that, gets very choppy, it leads to other issues, it's not very good. So why I want you to down hinge, okay? Number one, most players can um, improve by having more width. This is very wide, this is very narrow. Width helps players become more consistent, become more predictable in the delivery of the club head back into the ball at impact, okay? So you can see if, from, if at the top of the backswing, assuming you have a decent backswing, if all I do is down hinge and release my wrist angles, if all I do is turn through the ball, the club comes back to the ball, the club face is square. If I'm assuming a decent backswing, but I hold and manufacture wrist angles and I turn, 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 turn the same way, the club is not gonna get back to the ball. I have to do some weird things where I'm probably gonna pull my hands down to get back to the ball. It's not very good, that's not a right, correct sequence, okay? If, if you guys have not seen, I talk about sequential lag, thinking about lag differently, making sure it's one piece of the swing, lagging behind, following another piece of the swing. We wanna make sure um, good lag is good sequence, right? Club head lagging behind the hands in the downswing, hands lagging behind the arms, arms lagging behind the body, body lagging behind the legs. You can see, I'm not holding my angles by any means. If I'm going to the top of the backswing and I lose my legs and down hinge, the club still stays behind my body, my right wrist, my trail wrist is still bent. That's the leverage I want. That's what, we have the lag with the club behind, that's the lag we want, but I'm not holding my angles by any means, okay? So, if I do this very slowly, if I go legs and down hinge, from here, I go legs and down hinge, you can see this club trail behind the body quite a bit, and that's what proper lag should be. Proper lag is club trailing the arms, arms, sorry, club trailing the hands, hands trail the arms, arms trail the body, body trails the legs. Think of it in that sense, what be, will give you a much better chance of having good results. Rather than assuming a good backswing, then I'm gonna hold my wrist angles. Very steep, doesn't feel well, I'm probably gonna hurt myself in the long run. That's not what we want, okay? So we want a down hinge. Down hinge helps you shallow the club out. If you shallow the club out, you're probably more inside out. If you shallow the club out, you're probably gonna rotate more, right? The shallower I am, the more rotation I can have because I'm still come from decent delivery, come from the inside slightly. If I'm steep and I rotate well, I'm gonna miss the ball completely and it's not a very functional ball flight even if I do get back to the ball, okay? So we want a down hinge. Down hinging also helps you get width, more predictability. Down hinge helps you square the club face up, more predictability. All those things are things that many, many golfers can benefit from, sure. The odd golfer might need to hold their wrist angles. I've never taught anyone to hold their wrist angles. I've, I've personally tried to help players improve their sequencing, and as a result, the wrist angles work out better as the delivers in the ball, but I don't remember asking any of my clients to ever hold onto your wrist angles or manufacture wrist angles in the downswing. So hope that helps, hope that makes sense. This is why I like the down hinge. This is why I don't like talking about holding your lag, holding your angles. I do not want you to hold your angles, um, and I don't believe that players would benefit from that. So hope that helps, hope that makes sense. Any questions, leave in the comments below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.